moments away from totality. Millions of years in the making from the fade to black to the ring of fire. In one moment, the Mid-South and the world, we will not forget this moment. In fact, let's talk about Total Eclipse 2024. Thank you so much for joining us as we count down to totality. And under heavy cloud cover for most of the day, a lot of people are hoping we won't miss it. Clouds have been coming and growing over the Memphis metro area. Another event like this won't happen for another 20 years. Total solar eclipse only happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, and that completely blocks the light of the sun. So the sky is going to be just as dark as if it were dusk or dawn. Mm -hmm. Now, in the U.S., the path of totality it's actually already starting to begin, in fact, in Texas. It will travel through Oklahoma. It will get to Arkansas, places like Little Rock. Jonesboro will get a chance to see it before it moves to other states, including Missouri, Illinois, and it will end all the way in Maine. Small parts of Tennessee will also experience the total eclipse. Fox 13 is giving you different angles of the total eclipse, too. We sent our chief meteorologist, Andrew Humphrey, to Jonesboro, Arkansas and the campus at Arkansas State University, where the total eclipse will be seen. Jeremy Pierre is also in Jonesboro, and Mandy Rock is live in Carruthersville, Missouri, which is right there in the boot heel. Dominique Dillon talked to people right here in Memphis, where about 98% of the sun will be covered. But let's begin with Andrew there at Arkansas State. Well, Darcy and Daryl, we're here live at Arkansas State University, where it is not as cloudy. You can probably tell the sun, <laughs> what what is shining of the sun is actually coming down here. It is a bit darker than what it was like just about a half hour ago. Now, the partial eclipse started at around 1237 this afternoon, Memphis time. That's when the leading edge of the moon started to cover the sun. Now, we're still in partial eclipse. Total eclipse of the sun won't happen until we get closer to around 150, 155 right here in Jonesboro, where 100% of the sun is going to be covered. But as you can see, across the campus, you have many folks who are here, some actually also from the Memphis area, but many, of course, students, faculty, staff right here at Arkansas State University, where they have how to relax schedule is how they put it when it comes to classes and events that are going on here. Everything is basically eclipse centric as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon. We can see students that are gathering. We can also see tents that are set up. People are also coming from uh, outside the state of Arkansas. I've met a number of folks from Mississippi, uh, some folks from Alabama, and of course some folks from Tennessee as well. Now what we're going through right now is still first contact. First contact occurs just as the moon just starts covering, covering the sun, and then we get closer to second contact, which is start of totality, which occurs around 150 to 155 before moving on to totality itself. In fact, take a look at this video that we have for you to explain more about the 2024 American total solar eclipse. The solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. That allows the moon's long shadow to intersect the earth. Now, the central part of the eclipse, called the umbra, sweeps across the surface at more than 1,500 miles per hour. It would be even faster if the Earth wasn't rotating in the same direction. The path of the umbra is known as the path of totality. Along this path, we're seeing the moon completely block out the sun, turning day into night and revealing the sun's outermost atmosphere, the corona. Here's a closer look at that path of totality. As the umbra came into the United States over Eagle Pass, Texas, across the state through Texas, and enters Arkansas, where people in Hot Springs, Little Rock, and here in Jonesboro will see the eclipse. It then passes over Missouri and the Midwest. The umbra is over land for just an hour and 40 minutes before moving into the North Atlantic and shipping off the edge of the Earth. And here in northeastern Arkansas and the boot heel of Missouri, for that matter, right here in the Mid-South, it's one of the few places in the United States where it's almost cloudless. There are very few clouds in the sky right now. We can even see some blue still uh, as we get closer to totality. So really, the Mid-South is really prime real estate when it comes to this year's total solar eclipse. We'll talk more, of course, as we get closer to, to totality here within just a few minutes. Once again, live here from the campus of Arkansas State University, I'm Chief Meteorologist Andrew Humphrey. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much, Andrew. Absolutely incredible out there. We're going to take another live look. As you can see, 
It's a partial eclipse right now. We're still waiting to get to that point where it is totality. We're almost there. Got another 20 minutes or so for us to get there, but we're waiting for it. Now, with the line of totality just to the west of Memphis right now, of course, Fox 13 is taking you across the Mid-South. Yes, we are, including the town of Kennett, Missouri. I said Carruthersville a moment ago. I meant Kennett. Kennett. It's the last moments along the path. That's one of the last moments we'll see. That's where we find Fox 13's Mandy Rock live at a viewing party. A lot of viewing parties going on. How's that one, Mandy? Hey, Daryl. Yeah, there is a lot going on here today, and we are in Kennett. That's about 20 minutes west of Carruthersville. We've met people from all over, some people from Minnesota, East Tennessee, but the people we're going to introduce you here today, they're from a little closer to home. This is Lydia and Alicia. They are from New Bern and Dyersburg. So how excited are you guys to see the eclipse today? Very exciting. Have you guys ever seen a total eclipse before? No, in 2017, I didn't get to see the whole eclipse. So this is my first time and a lot of ours, I think. Yes. Awesome. So how yeah. was your trip up here today? I know not too far from, you know, Kennet. Not too far, but the traffic was definitely more intense, which we're not used to. So that meant a lot of people were in the area. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, this is just such a great atmosphere. How do you yes. feel about seeing all these people coming together to witness this great event here today? It's so fun. We're here with our um, homeschool group. And so having our kids here with us to experience something that they won't get to see for another, what, 20 years, is a pretty neat, I and mean, then like, I don't know, it's just monumental maybe. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, this is just a great experience. I hope you guys have a wonderful Yay. day and enjoy this great event. Thank, Thank you guys you. so much. Well, we are going to give you a look if you can see what it's looking like right now. We're going to pan the camera up so you can see the position of the sun and the moon and the eclipse started about 12.39 and about 1.57 is when we are going to see totality here in Kennett. So a lot of people very excited and we're already starting to see some differences as well. Uh, the light is a lot dimmer and it seems like the temperature has already started to drop. So uh, just a lot of people excited here at this walk party today. There's a lot of food trucks. I mentioned a lot of people tra traveled from all over to be here and are just very, very excited. So uh, we will be out here all day talking to people and keeping you updated with what happens and um, just very excited to be here. So we'll pitch it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Mandy, Fox 13's Mandy Rock live in Kennett, Missouri. We'll see you again coming up later in our special edition of the Eclipse coverage. All right, right now, let's, uh, are we going to take you back live? No, we're going to talk about this. A lot of people, there it is. Again, live picture of the eclipse as we see it from the Jonesboro Vantage. Mm -hmm. A lot of people from Memphis got on road this morning. They headed toward Jonesboro because Jonesboro we discovered is in that path mm -hmm. of totality. So many are gathering for this very special event. In fact, they're at Craighead Forest Park. That's where we find Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre, who started bringing us live coverage during Good Morning Memphis this morning. Jeremy, people out there, of course, like the rest of us, they have really been waiting all day for this moment. Yes, indeed. Let me tell you, look at this park. We're in the Craighead uh, Forest Park, Craighead Forest Park, to see all these folks right here. Look, they know I'm coming to them. These are my folks from Memphis right here. Look, a lot of these folks brought their kids out here for a day field trip, but these, these ladies right here turned it into a girl's trip. We love it. We love it so much. I told them they got their dinner on Blanc table over here. <laughs> And they, they got their glasses. They've just been looking up at the sun. I can't look at it right now. But I want y'all to take a look at her shirt right here. This is, on, you've been, you come on. I got the merch. Come on, see that merch. Total, total solar eclipse. April, how long have you been waiting for this? Two years. You've been waiting two years? I've been waiting two years. I was planning it. And then when the price tripled, I had to come somewhere closer. But I've been waiting. And my friends all decided to join me and help me uh, celebrate. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. Celebrate it. Yes. Celebrate. Because it's not, it's not happening again in, what, 20 years? So I needed to see it for myself. I didn't want to watch it on camera. I wanted to be out here and actually see it in person. Yes, indeed. Look, look. And they got... Hey! hey. She got the merch. She got the merch. We got people out here with cameras and everything having a good time. They're making a whole field trip out of this and having a good time. And look, I, I, I told y'all, y'all ain't got Val. Y'all got, got Darcy, Daryl, me right now yeah, they said they said i'll do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get back to y'all but y'all see everybody this park is lined up with folks and um 
ever since about 7.30 this morning, we started seeing people come in. We've got people from uh, Alabama, Atlanta. We saw some folks from Florida, uh, even China, uh, Collierville, Germantown, Cordova, people from Memphis, all over wanting to explore this. And you can see the folks right now, they're taking advantage of the, uh, a little bit of the eclipse that's happening right now. They're looking at that sun. Hopefully they got those glasses on and protecting those eyes. Now, for sure, we'll be here all throughout this special coverage of this total solar eclipse here at Craighead Forest Park in Jonesboro, Arkansas, the old JB. So stay with us. That is Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre reporting live in Craighead Forest Park. Thank you so much, Jeremy. You know, this is a celestial phenomenon. Uh -huh. It's incredible. If you have the proper eyewear, the correct glasses, step on outside. See if you can see it. See if you can participate in this because we're not going to have this again for 20 years. So you might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, we just saw people. You and I walked to get coffee a moment yeah. ago just up and down Highland. And we saw people all outside. With Everybody the had their glasses, you know, taking yeah. care. Look, do not look at this without the glasses. We've right. said that for, for weeks, but we just want to remind you again. You stare at the sun for more than 10 seconds or so, you could burn a hole right in your retina. Right, you so really please don't. Yourself. Now, right here in Memphis, of course, we are not in the path of totality, but we are expecting almost 98% coverage. Which is a lot of coverage mm -hmm. by our estimates. <laughs> a lot of people across the Bluff City are gathering outside, as we said. So let's send things over to Fox 13's Dominique Dillon. Dominique, what do you see? Well, we're down here at Tiger Lane witnessing this rare celestial dance. There are a handful of people out here at Tiger Lane. It's a really great place to witness this solar eclipse. And we were a little concerned because there is severe weather, or there's at least the threat of severe weather, but it's so far holding off. And the clouds that have been gathering overhead the last few hours have mostly cleared. We have a great view of the sun right now. Tiger Lane is a great place to witness this monumental moment because there's no trees obscuring the view. And once again, we're very fortunate because the clouds have moved out of the way. We have a great view of the moon passing between the sun and the earth. And we're just really excited. We've talked to some people out here who said this is something they wouldn't miss for the world because it's such a rare moment in time, something we won't see again for another 20 years. 20 years, 2044. Fox 13's Dominique Dillon live on Tiger Lane. Thank you, Dominique. We'll check in with you in just a few moments. You know, again, as we continue our live coverage, you're looking live at the eclipse as it's happening. We're not in a total eclipse yet. That happens at about 55 minutes after the hour. So coming up in about, uh, I'm horrible at math, 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Eclipse watchers have flooded to Arkansas because that that's the path of totality, right into the Jonesboro area. It passed over Little Rock through Jonesboro, and you saw us uh, just take you live a moment ago into uh, Kennett, Missouri, as mm -hmm. it traverses it north yet, into Maine. It's getting there. Yep. It's getting there. Let's turn to Fox 13 meteorologist Matt Urasaw, because he's going to explain how people prepared for the influx. Jonesboro, directly inside the path of totality and just outside of the Mid-South. That path of totality covering 53 of Arkansas's 75 counties. And Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that this astronomical phenomena could be one of the largest tourism events in state history. Oh, so excited. I cannot wait. I got to see the partial in 2017, ready for the total. I'm very excited for the eclipse. I love, like, the sun and the moon and all the stars and everything. Those living in the path of totality here in Jonesboro are super excited about the eclipse, but have a few concerns. I think the traffic's going to be awful, but I plan to stay at home and just see it from there. Arkansas's population sits around 3 million people, and that is expected to increase by nearly 50% during the eclipse. Arkansas Department of Transportation is also expecting nearly 700,000 extra cars across state highways. State agencies have been aware of this event and preparing uh, for the last several months, and we want to make sure that we were prepared for the influx of visitors that we expect to come here to the state. Due to all the traffic on Arkansas state roads, the Department of Transportation has scheduled a construction holiday for the eclipse. That means there will be no road construction or lane closures on any roads to help with the traffic flow. They are also going to limit the amount of semi-trucks crossing the state. 
We're working with the Arkansas Trucking Association to limit oversize and overweight loads traveling through Arkansas. We will be looking at nearly 4.5 million people in Arkansas for the eclipse, and this will have a huge impact, not just for traffic, but for the local and state economies. This event will undoubtedly have a profound economic impact statewide. That includes the hotel, Airbnb, and campground bookings across the state. Most of these locations have been booked solid for months. There may be a few rooms or spots left, but beware. Some of those locations are charging a pretty penny for an overnight stay. And that means most of us will be out on the road searching for the perfect spot to view the total solar eclipse. We know our transportation system will be tested, but we're doing all we can to make sure everyone can travel safely through Arkansas and enjoy the great North American eclipse. With all the extra cars on the road trying to see this once in a lifetime event right here in the Mid-South, the roads will be congested. So give yourself lots of extra time and pack your patience. And once you get to where you're going, find you a good safe spot, put on those glasses, and enjoy. <laughs> that is Fox 13 meteorologist Matt Yurosavik reporting. When I was talking to meteorologist uh, Andrew Humphrey, he was telling me something that I found actually fascinating. What makes this eclipse different from the one in 2017, this one is, the totality is 60% greater right. than the one in 2017. Also, the duration, how long it's going to last, will be 60% longer than 2017. They said in some areas, this the eclipse is going to last at least four minutes. Right. That's nope. a long time. That's right, because you, I, I, I remember being on top of the Peabody in 2017, yeah. and it was over, you know, it felt like just seconds. Yeah. You know, it was there, and it just and it it kept moving. <laughs> you know, but there, that's why this one is so special for us to be yeah. this close to that path of totality that we keep talking about. As you look live at the picture, this is our camera that's staged in Jonesboro, Arkansas, which is in that path of totality. The darkness, again, is going to be akin to what you will see at dawn, mm -hmm. right before the sun comes up. So it's going to be dark. In fact, we've, uh, we, we, we've done the report last week where animals, a lot of animals are going to perceive this as, as nighty night time. Mm -hmm. You're going to see, mm -hmm. you're going to hear the birds. If you're outside, the birds will go quiet. And some birds in that path of totality, especially because it will get so dark mm -hmm. and the temperature will drop by 10 degrees or sometimes more, mm -hmm. they will actually go to roost. They'll think it's time to go to roost. And then they're in for a rude awakening about four <laughs> and a half minutes later. You'll have that moment. The birds are going to have that moment I had yesterday. Why is the alarm clock going off now? You know, so that's, that's what it's going to be that's like. That's why. And it is. It's amazing. And you know, we also said that what it's going to look like, it's going to be a ring of fire. Mm -hmm. I was just actually showing Daryl that my sister who lives in Dallas, Texas, showed me the eclipse from her vantage point, and it looks exactly like a ring of fire around the moon. It's and incredible. in that path of totality, you will actually see what's called Bailey's diamonds. Mm -hmm. That's where you see little sun flares. You may be able to pick it up it's with amazing. our camera. I'm not sure if we'll be able to with our camera. You have to usually have a very cool optical lens to get that effect, but you'll see the diamond mm -hmm. burst all around it. So. But again, the eclipse is happening. We've shown you what it looks like in Arkansas. Let's go back to Missouri. That's where we find Fox 13's Mandy Rock. She's in Kennett, Missouri today. Mandy, what are you seeing out there right now? Yeah, well, I can tell you we are definitely starting to see a difference now. It is a lot dimmer outside. You can feel it in the temperature, too. It is a lot cooler, so uh, things are really starting to pick up here. But let me give you a look at what we're seeing right here. We're at a, an eclipse watch party here in Kennett, which is about 20 minutes west of Carothersville. And just a lot of people that we've met are from all over. We've seen people from Minnesota today. We've seen people from East Tennessee. And I can tell you a lot of people are actually here from Memphis as well because uh, uh, here we are in the path of totality so a lot of people just wanted to be at that 100% and it's a pretty easy drive from Memphis so we've met a lot of fellow Memphians but um, we will be in totality in about 10 minutes or so we're supposed to reach it at 157 so in about eight minutes we should be in that complete darkness and it's supposed to last about two minutes and 17 seconds so a lot of people um, very excited here to see this it's a you know once in a lifetime event I've talked to a lot of people who saw the eclipse in 2017 but are very excited to see a total one so we will keep you updated and be here throughout the day and we'll continue meeting people and we will give you updates on the situation here at five and six later in our broadcast. That is Fox 13's Mandy Rock reporting from Kennett, Missouri.
All right, we're moments away. We're about uh, five and a half minutes away. The totality is supposed to happen about 55, mm -hmm. about 155 our time, five minutes before two. So let's head back over to Jonesboro, Arkansas. So we find our chief meteorologist, Andrew Humphrey. Andrew, what is your vantage point looking like right now? I mean, it's still looking spectacular out here. You can see behind me plenty of folks who are now looking up with their safety glasses, by the way. And Darcy and Daryl, I heard you talking about some specific terms when it comes to uh, totality when it actually occurs. And you're absolutely right. There's the diamond ring effect when totality occurs and you see the sun beaming just one beam of uh, from the sun that is so brilliant, it looks like a diamond ring. Hence, once again, the diamond ring effect. You also get what's called Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads. When you might see little bright spots around the perimeter of the moon, that is the sun shining through the valleys of the moon. But now, path of the, now totality is about to happen here within the next couple of minutes. Here, we are only uh, we're right here at Arkansas State University, right here in the path of totality, right here in Jonesboro in northeastern Arkansas, and it is absol absolutely amazing. With my uh, glasses here. I mean, you can see it probably live on television, too. We've been showing it full screen. The moon, as it's now almost 100% covering, covering the sun. And it's absolutely astonishing how rare of an instance this is. I mean, this occurs about every 18 months to nearly uh, two years uh, anywhere within the world. But in one particular spot, for example, right here in Jonesboro, it would happen once in only about 375 years. Secondly, I mean, the sun is about 400 times as large as the moon. At the same time, the sun is about 400 times farther away from the uh, from Earth than it is than Earth is from the moon. So those two numbers, coincidentally, those that is the reason why the sun gets totally eclipsed by the moon, not just partially not just where you see a bigger ring of the sun around the moon, but it completely covers it 100%. Oh, this is amazing. You're probably looking at this live right now. I'm just going to be quiet for a moment so you can just go ahead and take this in. You're seeing slowly the crescent of the sun slowly dwindling, getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Darcy and Daryl, if you can hear me, this is absolutely amazing. I'm sure. Yeah, we we see it, Andrew. We've got your we've it's got your beautiful. camera punched up full right now. And it's so beautiful. I it, wonder, are, are we going to be able to see? You talked about Bailey's beads, Andrew. I, I know in some cases you need a, a better lens. Are we going to be able to see Bailey's beads? It's likely you should be able to certainly see the diamond ring effect here in just uh, most likely less than a minute now. It's likely you will be able to. We've got our camera set up and. We want to make sure the camera stays stable because we've zoomed in right on the moon as it's covering the sun. So we don't want to lose this shot, but you should be able to see it. I think we've zoomed in close enough. Yeah, we need to pull our lower third graphic down. I, I know so that we there we go. Yeah, we'll be able to see it better. Andrew, I do have a question. I mean, we're almost there yes. with totality, but will viewers be able to see any other planets right now? Will viewers be able to see any other planets? Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's un, it's unlikely. If if so, maybe for a brief period of time, maybe for just three to four minutes, that totality actually lasts. But it's un it's unlikely that one would be able to. I'm trying to rem I'm trying to remember which planets are out right now during this time of day. And there, here, we're just restabilizing our shot because, as you know, yeah, the is Earth it. is already rotating, so the Sun and Moon are moving at the same time. The Moon is going over the Sun. Can you feel a difference in temperature there? Andrew. Well, Darcy, well, Darcy, there's a there's a hush now that's fallen over the crowd over here, and is it is noticeably got. <laughs> you talked about it going from day to night. That is exactly oh, what's that. happening here right now. Oh, it's much darker, Andrew. We see we, we have you pulled up too. We see you looking up, and it's wow. It really does look like dawn. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right, here it comes. We should only have another. Another couple of yeah, seconds here, maybe 30 seconds. Total. Because they had, there. they had this down to the second. It's mm -hmm. supposed to happen at 1.55 and 7 seconds. So at about 30, 30 at seconds. 27, 28, 25 sec seconds. And what, is the what does the clock say in the studio there? Uh, got about 20 seconds 30. right now. Yeah. Where it's almost there. Andrew, what does the temperature feel like right now? 
You can feel it getting cooler, too. Before, it felt like it was closer to uh, maybe the middle, most likely upper 70s. But you notice it's much cooler by at least 5 to 10 degrees out here as well as, it gets, as it's gotten darker. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. That's amazing right, to we're be about able 10 to seconds away Can you hear off people cheering? Well, can you hear people cheering? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Yeah. It's so exciting. I mean, again, watching. this phenomenon we won't see until the year 2044. That is the next time we will be able to experience something like this in our lifetime. And I mean, if you think about, you know, through the centuries and through our history of what this has meant to so many people, to be able to see it from this perspective, to see this moment. Yeah. More people cheering. <laughs> There we go. Uh, I can actually see, oh, it's not zoomed out lo uh, wide enough, but I actually can see one of the planets. It's to the lower right of the moon and sun. It's like a night sky. That's incredible. I was doing a little research myself, and it said that you may be able to see Venus. Yeah. Tell them that let me tilt up. Let me tilt up. I'm being asked by my photographer, this is a little inside baseball, folks, if you could allow uh, our photographer here to tilt up to get an excellent shot of the uh, of everything. Oh, sure. It's live TV. Everybody knows. Tell them to go ahead and do Tell what, she needs, do what do. she needs to do. Absolutely. We're in studio. We want to see it just like everyone else right now. Oh, I tell you what. I'm going to ask my photographer. There it is. Uh, Look, at that. Oh, I, Look at that. I got my photographer, Cynthia, oh, out here, also gosh. one of our engineers, Jalen. I'm just wondering what would happen if we took the filter off briefly. That is amazing. So beautiful. Never mind. That's that ring <laughs> of fire that we were talking Apparently about. That Oh my gosh, leave, like. leave that shot For right folks there. in the audience, I'm not looking at the television. Uh, pardon me for talking over you, Darcy and Daryl. That's okay. But while I'm out here, while I'm out here, you have a better shot on the t television monitors in the studio than what I have out here live. Sure. But well, it's still it's quite amazing out here anything. live, of course. I don't, I don't think any words can, I don't think any words are necessary right now. Let's just watch this for a moment. There's that diamond. diamond ring. Yep. There it is. There it is. It's so beautiful. I mean, the perspective we're able to get on this through television is just amazing. I mean, we're able to take you through that path of totality. Mm -hmm. And with that, we've started third contact where uh, totality is now just starting to end. Mm -hmm. This is what's known as third contact in terms of the phase of the eclipse itself. This is incredible for viewers who weren't able to purchase a pair of glasses. Yeah. You're witnessing it along with us. And, and you know, we right on track, almost four minutes. You know? It's beautiful. And watching it on television uh, through an event like this, whether it's streaming or live on television, it's actually the safest way to view it. Look at that. So anyone in Memphis or the Mid-South, if it happens to be cloudier, if you're not in the path of totality, we're all sharing this moment. Consider yourselves in the path of totality if you're watching this. You can still see the top outline of the moon mm -hmm. at the very top of the sunburst. <laughs> Andrew, you, you're... 
Cynthia may need to go back to that filter now. We're starting to, to lose any definition. It just looks like the sun. It's still amazing. It's a beautiful sight. There we go, lower left-hand screen. I mean, just yep. that little sliver, if you're looking at your television, that little sliver of light you see in the lower left of your screen is what's causing that sunburst in the upper right. It that is, is beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, that's Missouri in the lower Missouri. left. Okay, <laughs> that's, where, that's where there. Mandy Rock Yeah, Missouri is almost there. Because Missouri is one of the states and this the is, path of totality. And this is what uh, has amazed people, whether they're astronomers or not, for years, decades, if not centuries and millennia with a phenomenon like this, with a total eclipse of the sun. Uh, that's, that, of course, is what makes it such a memorable and historic event. Again, this won't happen for another 20 years until 2044. But not everyone across the country is seeing this, like no. we're seeing this. No. This is only really happening in 13 states right now, including Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, New Hampshire, Maine, Maine parts of course of Tennessee, and parts of Michigan. So this is the moment, Andrew, I, I know you can't see the screen, but we're about to show that moment of totality in Missouri. We've got that pulled up. So they're about to go, uh, the darkness dark is creeping yeah. upon Kennett, Missouri. <laughs> it's almost there. Oh, that's great. It's just so neat. That's that an example right there. An incredible. That's phenomenon. an example right there of the speed of the of the shadow of the mm -hmm. moon. The, the shadow of the moon is moving at roughly 1,500 miles per hour across northeastern Arkansas, and now, as you mentioned, into the boot heel of Missouri. And Darcy, you made a, a very interesting point. Only a select area of the country, which happens to be in the mid south, is within that path of totality. You want to narrow that down even further? There are even fewer places where you have at least partly to mostly sunny skies like we do right here in the Mid-South, right here in northeastern Arkansas, whether it's in Jonesboro or anywhere else in Poinsett County or in Craighead County and on into the southeastern Missouri as well. In Dallas and northern Texas, where plenty, plenty of uh, people flocked, it was forecast to be uh, much cloudier. And same thing in other parts of the country right now. Look at that. So beautiful. It's just incredible to be able to witness something like this. And we've seen it, I mean, obviously through the magic of, of television, if you will, but we have seen in our studio, because we have so many monitors uh, keeping an eye on this, uh, from, from southern Texas, uh, from Kerrville, all the way through the Dallas area, mm -hmm. now into uh, southwestern western Arkansas, through northeastern Arkansas, and here over the Mid-South. We've been able to watch those moments of totality in each different region, and it's really been, it's been amazing to watch. Again, the picture you're getting right now is coming to you live from Kennett, Missouri. We've got uh, that's our most our northernmost crew, right. I guess we should say. I love the reaction. Wherever you are, the reaction seems to be the same. Everyone is just in absolute awe of what they are witnessing right now. The cheering. Yeah, it's exciting. It's just so beautiful. It's incredible. So Andrew is it starting to warm and up in uh, Jonesboro again. Yeah. It's starting to get brighter out here for sure. Hasn't started to warm up just yet. Uh, the folks are now walking about. I can see behind the camera that's here. They're walking about, but some folks are still looking at this amazing event as it still is going on. Um, but it's also just astounding that the last total solar eclipse, it was very close to Memphis in the Mid-South. Many folks were flocking to Kentucky. So we should consider ourselves very lucky right here in Memphis that within the span of, what, seven years from 2017 to now 2024, less than seven years, we've been able to experience a total eclipse of the sun, maybe not right over the Mid-South, but first near it and now right over parts of the Mid-South. Absolutely amazing. That's Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Andrew Humphrey live on the campus of Arkansas State University in Jonesboro. Andrew, thank you so much for your educational moments leading up to this for the past many weeks. You've really enlightened us and told us what to look for and how to safely view this. We so appreciate your perspective through that, and we really appreciate your perspective today on the eclipse. But to better understand the process, mm -hmm. to get a stronger understanding of how the sun moves, how the earth moves, how the moon is moving between the earth and the sun, right. how quickly the moon is moving. He said 1,500 miles, miles per, per hour. hour. Absolutely incredible. It is. Now we're hitting Illinois right this now. This is Carbondale, Illinois. Yeah. Again, part of that path of totality. They're about to go 
uh, dark Complete in Carbondale, <laughs> and it's going to continue this chain, this daisy chain, all the way through the northeast. And Darcy, you said that uh, the last one we're going to see is in Maine. That's, in Maine. Yeah. Yeah. And then it'll be out to the ocean, so it's up to the fish and the dolphins after that. <laughs> and this is Mexico right now. Yeah, they're done with they're it. They're done with it. So, uh, you know, we won't be completely out of the shadow of mm -hmm. the moon mm -hmm. until after 3 o'clock here. Yeah. So if you've got glasses time. and you've got time, um, after we exit our live coverage here in just a moment, you can still step outside and see uh, the remnants. It. Absolutely. You can see the rim. Matter of fact, that's what we're about to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to step outside and see the remnants of the mm -hmm. eclipse because uh, it's still very much eclipsed here in the Mid-South. It's going to yeah. take about another hour and a half uh, for this event to be over. It's beautiful, though. I that's hope it. everyone has had an opportunity today to experience it. I, I believe in 2017, they said around 215 million mm -hmm. people viewed it. I can only wait for the numbers to come in for this one. That's right. We're going to have complete coverage from uh, the Mid-South, all three mm -hmm. places where we have taken you live over the past half hour, coming up on Fox 13 News at 5. We appreciate you joining us for this special edition of Eclipse 24 here on Fox 13. We'll see you again soon.